Greetings viewers, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be pulling the heads off of the Forester and we're gonna see how many valves actually got bent when the timing jumped. Uh, you're gonna have to bear with me a little bit on this. I'm not in a shop or studio setting anymore, so lighting is not really controllable and it's a pretty bright day and we got some really uh, dramatic brights and uh, shadows, so it's gonna be hard to film very well. This is not gonna be a DIY step-by-step -step removing heads in car video uh, just because of the nature of this and how far apart it was and the fact that the car wasn't even assembled correctly to start with. Uh, it wouldn't be a very good guide to go along with. So this is probably gonna be a time lapse of me pulling the heads and uh, then we'll come back once I got them off, look at the damage and assess what we're gonna do on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the camera up and get the time lapse started on pulling these heads. All right, guys, got the front of the Forester off the ground. Was getting ready to start pulling the heads on it. And uh, found some issues. Looks like we got ball joints bad. We've got a broken uh, sway bar link over here. As you see, it's disconnected. Sorry about the shaky camera. I'm on my cell phone. Uh, we got missing exhaust manifold stud, uh, one that's not even fully installed or tightened, just all kinds of issues, wrong exhaust manifold on this engine. Oh man, the more I look at it, the more it's just like, ugh, what in the world? I know everyone has to start somewhere when it comes to learning repair and all, but man, it just uh, it just hurts still to see cars brutalized this badly. So what I'm going to do now is uh, drop this exhaust manifold, go ahead and pull the block drain here and here, go ahead and drain all the coolant. And uh, from there, we'll go ahead and get to pulling these cylinder heads.
All right, guys, first off, sorry for a shaky cam. I got the camera handheld. And uh, as you just saw, I got the heads pulled off. Uh, a little bit more aggravating than I remembered because it's been a while since I've done them in car. But uh, now that I've got the heads off, made a pretty interesting discovery. I accidentally told you incorrectly in the last video when I showed you the double valve relief where saying that the outer one was where the valves had contacted. Um, that's incorrect in this case because we do not have an EJ251 or EJ253 in this Forester as you would expect. Here's a shot at one of the pistons. All four are identical. And the reason why is this right here. EJ20. This is a JDM EJ20 engine. This is not a US spec EJ25. So we do have double valve reliefs on all four pistons. Not saying that the heads aren't destroyed because they are good and well destroyed and there's lots of bent valves. And uh, we're gonna go over and look at those right now and try to get a count on it and see which of you actually guessed the correct number of bent valves. All right guys, taking a look at the driver's side head. I'm not actually sure if these are 25 heads or 20. I think these might be the matching 20 heads. They are extremely clean, so I assume it's a low mileage engine. Uh, the cross hatching was still really visible in this engine. So let's take a look and see how much damage we got and how many valves we've got bent. All right, looking obvious right off the bat. This intake this intake this intake and this intake all bent all to pieces we're going to do the probably the light check and a liquid check on the exhaust to see if they're leaking uh, i don't know if the exhaust uh the light check will work on the exhaust but basically you shine a flashlight in and look for any light bleeding out around the valves i'm not seeing anything i am seeing a little bit of a scuff mark there's definitely scuff marks here here and here where the intakes hit uh, not too sure on these exhausts i'm gonna flip the head upside down i'm probably going to spray some brake parts cleaner or water through the exhaust ports and then we'll see if it starts leaking out around the valves if it will not hold fluid it will not hold air so All right, so that exhaust, that exhaust, uh, this exhaust, pretty sure this one's okay. Might not have gotten the brake clean over far enough into that chamber. Don't think I did now that I'm looking. Nope, that one's leaking too. So all eight on this head are no good. All eight valves are bent. All right, so I'll go grab the other head and we'll check it. All right, passenger side head. Again, right off the boat, all of the intakes are bent. We can see that very easily with the naked eye. Sticking way out. I can stick my finger under there. The camshaft is in a neutral position, not pushing up on any of these valves. I can actually grab the rocker arms and uh, they got a ton of slop in them as you hear. These rockers are no contact. So now we're gonna flip it over and see if all these exhausts are bent. I can basically eyeball that one as vent. I can see it hanging a jar. These we all see shortly. Bent, 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 and bent. So 
all 16 valves are no good so all you that guessed all 16 you got it now i mentioned something about a contest in the last video at the time this video is posted the little contest is closed because of course i'll have your results so at the time of posting this video uh, right before i make it public i'm going to go through gather all the names of those of you that commented all 16 all 16 valves would be bent and i will have that list of names and draw somebody from it uh, i'm not sure what i'm gonna do uh, i do have an icon Harbor Freight Ratchet, brand new in the box, laying around one left from uh, all the old videos. So probably gonna make that the prize actually. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna post this video. When I post this video, I'll go back, get all of those names, uh, pick a winner. Once I pick the winner, I will try to get in contact with you by replying to the comment. If I reply to the comment where you guessed the 16 telling you you won, you'll have 24 hours to get back in touch with me with a mailing address to receive the item. If I don't hear from you in 24 hours, I'm gonna pick someone else. And we'll keep doing that through until I get uh, someone on uh, in communication with me to claim the prize. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, from here, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I think that EJ20 is actually good. The pistons don't look very scarred up. I doubt they're cracked or anything like that. So more than likely, I'm going to take these heads, drop them at the machine shop, get all new valves put in them, have them uh, decked and everything checked, and get a new valve job, you know, make sure everything's good in there, pressure tested, check them for cracks, check the guides, make sure the, uh, the valve guides didn't get cracked when the valves were forced in and bent. You know, just make sure everything there is good. And uh, like I said, I've got a set, I think two sets of EJ251 heads ready to go back from the machine shop just sitting. So probably gonna order a gasket kit, throw those heads on there, make sure that engine runs. If it runs well, great. I've got an engine to put in the Silver Forester. This one is just too bad to worry about at this point. Or I'll put it in that green 2004 Outback. I don't know if I did a formal introduction on it, but it was the worst blown head gasket video. I'll link that up here in the top. Uh, but other than that, that'll basically do it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video.